This morning when I got up to run, it was 41 degrees outside, and I don't know how this happens. I've had it kind of explained to me, so I think I know, is um, now it is like 37 degrees outside, so it dropped a lot. And I believe that's because when I get up in the morning, there is um, stratus clouds. I don't know if that's the right term, but they're covering the earth a little bit and they kind of keep the earth's warmer air in. And then in the morning when the sun starts to rise, it um, burns off those clouds and then it allows the warmer air that's being held down to go out. There is a ginormous squirrel in that tree. Oh, those aren't squirrels, those are birds. They look ginormous. Anyway, so now it is a lot colder than it was when I started running this morning, which is crazy to me. Normally when I run, I wear a hoodie, an undershirt, running shorts, leggings, and a hat, like a beanie and gloves. I still have all of that. Oh, in the winter time, I wear a like an actual jacket, like a coat coat um, to stay warm. And uh, I haven't had to wear that the past week, so that's been good. So we're getting warm, but I've got a few things we got to accomplish this morning. This morning I had to go to Lowe's, which it's weird going to those stores because those stores are still like fully up and running, kind of because they have to be. I think a lot of people are still building, still working. Some projects just have to keep getting done, but there's definitely like social distancing being placed in there. There's like squares on the floor to show you where to stand. And what I like and what I think will actually stay as a byproduct of COVID-19 is the like barriers between you and the cash register. There's like a plexiglass covering, you know, so that you're not in direct contact and stuff. I think those will actually probably stay even when all this is settled down and whatnot. I don't think those will ever go away. But a small project, nothing big at the house today. I just gotta clean up more work. We're not gonna do a quick time lapse or anything. Yes, it's dark down here. Can you see me now? Nope, you cannot. You can't see really much down here and I can't see what I gotta see to get work done. So I bought these um, LED like work lights that you can like hang from all the rafters and stuff like that. This is what all the big construction guys do. So we're gonna put those up and clean this place up today. And we have power. And this whole side got cleaned up. I put these lights up. They help a ton. This basement is so barren, which is gonna be awesome for the plans we have. But until then, it's just going to be barren. It has been a busy day here at the house. We got the basement cleaned up. We got the stairwell all the way opened up for what it was supposed to be. This project is definitely coming along and I am super excited for what we have designed and drawn up in this area. And now I'm even more excited to hand over the basement area and see what we can draw up for that. And then for some of the stuff in here, most of the house is gonna stay the same. Structurally, nothing's gonna change anymore. I think we're done with that. Um, but what will change is maybe the outlook of this bathroom. I'm excited to change the vanity, the toilet, all that stuff. I would really like to know what to do here. Um, this is kind of a small, small bathroom. Obviously, we're not going to make it ginormous, but there's got to be a better way to optimize this space. So I would like to see what we can do or dream up here. Maybe just a little bit. My mom is making dinner. Was Lincoln just giving you instructions on how to turn the camera on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good job, Lincoln. <laughs> I am making twice baked potatoes, where you make potato, you bake it, and then you cut the inside out, and then you make mashed potatoes and broccoli, and you stick it all inside with cheese and yumminess. Anyway, what I was telling you, Bossy, is go out and show Olivia. Go show what Olivia's doing. Olivia is making snow cones. Well, we're not making snow cones. First, we have to clean it out because it's dirty and then we will make snow cones. So she's cleaning out her snow cone machine that she got um, last year when she turned 10. We'll put that in the, the description. I'm sitting here watching the kids out the window and I love how Olivia is just taking care of her snow cone machine. That was the best present I think any kid has ever gotten. Well that and the like go-karts. <laughs> Oh, I thought she was talking to me to stop. I was like, excuse me? She's telling the kids to turn the um, hose off. Anyway, I'm gonna link her snow cone machine 
and my favorite go-kart in the description because they're the best summer birthday presents. I know, she's watching you guys. Olivia wouldn't let her outside because, inside, inside. yep, she doesn't want her in the syrup and stuff. Yeah, I um, to wipe down the machine? Yeah. Um, yeah, here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in case you guys missed that, that was Cody's kissy face to me. What? No, yes, it was. No, I will not cut out your kissy face. Does that embarrass you? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping it in. It's okay to kiss your mom. Okay, <laughs> just took these out of the oven. They look really yummy. I wanted something really warm and something like hearty. Anyway, so I'll um, grill some chicken and then do these. Doesn't that look so yummy? The house just like feels warm. It just feels good in the house. Put my lemon back, please. I've been putting lemon in all of my water and I have been drinking tons and tons of water. Every day I've been having probably three of these. Definitely one at night because at night is when I want to start snacking. The first night of quarantine, Joel and I were like, let's get the ice cream out. Let's like... <laughs> And you guys always drink my water. You guys have your own water bottle. Stop drinking my water. Yeah, so at nighttime, Joel and I were really like wanting to snack. It, it was the weirdest thing because it was like, Joel and I haven't snack snacked for a long time. Like we'll have like our occasional snacks at night, but not. it's not like a nightly thing. Well, the first like three nights of quarantine, Joel and I were like, all right, it's like life is canceled. Diet is canceled. I'm not gonna say diet, because it's like a lifestyle. So then after that, I was like, we are sticking strictly to our intermittent fasting, and we will eat in a small window from like two to seven is like our window. Three to seven is like our window that we eat. So the first week was like, we're just gonna forget about it. We're gonna pretend that that didn't happen, but we've definitely been sticking to our intermittent fasting and drinking a lot of water, and I feel really good about how things are going. I can't reach my hand back there. I'm like, I need a skinny hand. I'm like, Cody, <laughs> I will let you have the very first snow cone if you can clean that out and get it, it out. It looks really good. I do know that this is like rust. I yes, think. it makes That's me. That's a chemical reaction. Rust is a chemical reaction. Okay, it's like gonna... all along here. It does make me sad that and we left like it scuffed. out in the winter. And then like, yeah, that makes me really sad. It's just like kind of everywhere. It's a little rusty. And then back here, if you look back here. Yes, mm -hmm. honestly, that's, it's my fault. And that makes me really sad that we didn't put we it away. We should like put it in the cold storage room. Like I we should know. clean the entire thing before I'm, we put it away. That makes me sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, Lincoln is my most vocal eater. He gets very into his food. You can hear Boston getting into his drink. You guys hungry? Did you play hard today? Mm -hmm. How was your dinner? I'm good. <laughs>